Hey YouTube, today I am excited to watch a player that I actually haven't watched any of but have heard a lot about and that is the player Zen. Zen is a French player, 15 years old, and if you haven't heard about Zen's situation, he is currently banned from participating in the RLCS. Now you might be thinking, oh no, what did this kid do? Why are we highlighting him when he did something ban worthy? And the reason is a little bit tame. It's not anything to dislike Zen for, but he did sub in, I believe, for an RLCS team trying to qualify uh, for another player when he wasn't allowed to play. He was under 15 years old. He played on their account in order to try and get that team to qualify. He was discovered and then banned. And, and one of the slight problems with it is that he wasn't banned right away. They did wait until he was 15 years old to tell him and then said, hey, you're banned for a full year. But there's precedence for this. There have been other players who have done similar kinds of cheating and have been banned. You know, Zen at the time, 14 years old. I'm not sure I'm going to blame him too much for subbing in for a team. But that being said, he is a very exciting player. There's a reason why the RLCS team wanted Zen, an under 15 year old, to sub in and play for their team. And it's because he's a very exciting up and coming player. In fact, I want to say. He is highly rated in the ones leaderboard as well, but we have just not been able to catch him as a part of any show match or anything. But I think the French community has seen him a lot. I want to say he's played many matches uh, on French streams and whatnot, as well as I think he famously does some 2v1s against various players. But anyways, I'm really excited to see how he plays because he has been one of the people that have been brought up alongside guys that we have put a huge spotlight on like Daniel and Evo from the North American region. Oh my goodness, that was filthy. Just resetting all the way across the field. It didn't turn into a goal, but still, it's very nasty. Um, yeah, what what did the French prodigies look like compared to maybe the Middle Eastern prodigies like Rawas and Kaliers or the North American prodigies like Daniel and Evo? Uh, I don't know. I'm finding out alongside you, I have not watched these replays before. On his team is another great French prodigy, Vatira. Vatira is a little bit older. I wonder when Vatira is turning 16. I believe he's still 15 years old. Might be 16, but he is a young player as well. As a part of Team Queso, or sorry, look at me, finding behind the times. A part of Team uh, Moist Esports. Uh, Moist Esports picking up Team Queso. Very solid team. Playing against Luis P, who we've seen before, and Twiz, which if you are a super fan, you actually have also seen before. He's played a couple different show matches on stream and tournaments. Nice air dribble bump by Batira. So definitely a high level lobby to see how Zen plays. And right now, him and Batira, as they are teamed up, this dynamic French duo, are currently down 2-1 to very solid players on the other side of the field. Zen wasn't able to make anything happen on that possession. I was creeping out. I think he just left the net open, Twiz. Luis P maybe could have finished that off. Fortunate for him. He has got one of the best French players in the world on his team. Zen at the midfield. Bit of an awkward challenge as he reverses back and forth around the midfield boost. Wow, what a save by Zen. Way to dodge that demo attempt by Luis P. Chasing him all the way to the net. And the passing play. Oh my goodness. The counter. All that coming off of amazing defense from Zen. It's really hard to blame Luis P. For diving in as deep as he did. Because if he could have even gotten a slight connection on Zen. It would have been a goal for his team. But heroics in the net. Result in the save and the counter attack. Now these guys tied. Matira demoing Luis as he tries to pick up. That back corner boost. I don't know if he did or not. Let's do both backflipping to send this one high. Nice win by Batira. Zen. Trying to find a way to double it. And yeah, that was a big mistake. I don't know if he was hoping to double it somewhere off the wall. Because he knew he wasn't going to have the boost to double it off the backboard. But got a little bit greedy. And that greed turns into a direct goal. What just happened for the Luis P. Twiz team though? I... I did not see what happened on that kickoff. For some reason, they both went to it. 
I believe that's one of those ones where somebody looked away from their monitor and then looked last second and thought they were supposed to go for the kickoff or something. That I can't imagine that's a strategy they really intend to use. We speak a dunk and a doozy. Wow. This has been some high level play. Zen, a bit of mistakes on defense. Hasn't looked as pure as maybe you might hope. But this is, of course, just the most recent ranked game I could find with him and Vatira teamed up. Immediate kickoff goal. And once again, we're tied. 40 seconds left to go. It seems like Zen is going to be as mechanical as all the other prodigies we've seen. Oh my goodness, look at this pinch. Wow. There's a couple of huge what-ifs for Zen in this game. But Daniel, Evo, Rawas, Kaliris, all of them are ultra-mechanical like many other up-and-comers are. I think Rawas, some people almost might think that he isn't just because of the way he plays ones. He plays them so smart, so calculated. But as soon as you catch him on the twos field, if you've ever seen any of those replay reviews, he is, or twos or threes, he is just fully a mechanical beast. This game looking like it might go to overtime. Backflip with Zen. He's going to drop the ball to a pretty good spot. Wait, good catch by Zen. He's got Twiz all alone, but... Oh my goodness, look at that pass! I had no idea he had Vatira to the right. I thought he had made a big mistake. I'm thinking about ones, and I'm thinking, oh no, Vatira, or sorry, oh no, Zen, you can't be flicking the ball away from you where you can't get back to it because otherwise it's just going to hit the ground. But he saw out of the corner of his eye Vatira over to the right, or maybe they're in comms, but not often whose players play these casual games in comms, but they could have been. But man, look at that pass. Vatira able to finish it home. It is going to be no overtime in this first game with Zen and Vatira, but we have got another one with Zen and Vatira coming up next. Zen and Vatira again, and this time we are going to watch from Vatira's perspective. We will get an idea of what it's like to play alongside Zen. I think sometimes that is uh, one of the more interesting ways to see how a player plays, not necessarily from their perspective, but their teammates or even their opponent's perspective, give you an idea of what it might be like. Also, this just came to my head. I'm, I might as well bring it up. Have you guys ever watched full replays or watched yourself play on some other streams? It, it is very interesting to see your own play from other people's perspectives um, because, I, I don't know, it's, just, it's a whole different experience. I would recommend it. Watch a full game or something playing against yourself. Oh my, okay. We got to go watch from Zen's perspective. <laughs> I, you can tell I haven't watched these before. Otherwise, I would have uh, made sure we were watching this one from Zen's because that was a nasty, nasty shot. Let me start it from the beginning here. Oh, big bounce. And Rawas not coming to challenge. So Zen. Oof. Well, look at that angle on the double. That is such a hard read. By the way, instead of Twiz playing on... Uh, Luis P's team. It is now Rawas playing on Luis P's team. Probably a bit of an upgrade. Twiz is a very solid player. And it's hard to know whether or not Rawas is an upgrade over Twiz in the 2v2 environment. But something we'll find out very soon as he is going to be able to be in the RLCS. Might be taking Twiz down. Twiz is a part of I'll, I'll admit I forget which very high level team but one of the top three teams I believe in the Middle East Twiz is a part of. Oh, you know what? We made it back to Vatira's perspective. Yeah, that's right. That's where we want to be. Gloss to Luis P. Luis P in the wagon wheels. Nice save by Zen. Vatira was there to help as well. He jumped inside the net in case Zen was going to miss. Ooh, Gloss just lobbed it up for free. Nice fake. But while that would destroy in 1v1, it's a backup defender in this 2v2 game. Oh, Vatira. Try to get up quick. Had to use a ton of boost just to get back to the ball. These two have been passing well to each other. Zen is going to feed Vatira once again to midfield. I doubt Zen goes all in on this play. But did he creep in too far and leave the net open? Just barely. He didn't. Certainly very risky. Look at how fast Vatira played this. Oh my goodness. This counter was played so quickly. That quick touch uh, with the double jump. Instead of using a flip in order to continue the ball and keep his speed at maximum uh, velocity. I mean, that was just truly a very mechanical play. The kind of mechanical play that maybe 
people will look past and not think of it as, you know, as impressive as some insane triple flip resets. Nice aggressive bump. Oh my goodness, what a save from Rawas. His goal line defense is just impeccable as always. Even in this game focused on Zen and Vatira. Vatira pulling off this ball at the midfield. Just gonna pop one up to the backboard. It's a pretty good 50 by Zen. But Vatira recognizes that the counterattack is coming quickly off the save. Such a common two strategy after the first clear, the first save touch as that lead player creeps up field. The goalie just finds them with a pass for the quick shot. And I think both teams maybe already scored with that in these replays. Look at this long shot. Rawas, the angle. Batira just arrived at slightly the wrong time. If he arrives a little bit later, he can dunk Rawas and use his momentum. Because he arrived early enough on the bounce, he had to spin inside the net and then couldn't get back out to make a save. 2-2. Two, two. two minutes left to go. Luis P. Nice air dribble bump. That one's prowess on the orange team coming out. Although everybody in this lobby is a very talented one's player. Fun fact, if I never mention this on stream, you guys maybe remember Rise playing AJ? Do you remember Rise in a 1v1 against AJ when they were both in LA? You might remember that he got swept. But did you know that one of those games was played by Vatira? I bet you didn't. He told me later that Vatira took the controller in an attempt to beat AJ and also did not succeed. So <laughs> he put up a good fight, but could not do it. And I just thought that was so funny because I had never known. Oh, Vatira, look at this shot. Oh, filthy off the side wall with the reset. Using the flip early to push it and then gaining another one to finish it off. Deciding either not to get this boost or he thought he was going to power slide through it. And based on his actions afterwards, I think he thought he was flipping into the boost. Interesting touch by Rawas off the 50 and then Tier's going to bump him. Zen taking him off the map. Luis P. Great early challenge. And. That bounce probably too high for Vatira to do anything about it. Even if he stayed aggressive with zero boosts, I don't think he can get up to that crossbar height to make a real effect on the play. But his team is up 5-3, so he doesn't need to be aggressive. Zen, what a turtle shot. Dude, a turtle assist. Zen is kind of crazy. Look at that. A forfeit. A forfeit. My goodness. We'll watch this real quick again from Zen's perspective. Because he has had some nutty plays that have not quite been goals. But he've either been almost, or in this case, a nice assist as he turtles it to Vatira. Looked like he was maybe going to clear it out, but then realizes he should just pull away and let his French teammate slam it in. Zen looking good. A player to be excited about for sure once he is allowed to play in the RLCS, which will unfortunately be just about a full year. I think it's only been a couple months that he's turned 15. It's probably like 10 or so months before we see Zen and hopefully not all the way past the end of next season because he is a very exciting player. I don't think anybody can really be too mad at him for why he got his ban. He's just got to serve his time and then he'll be in the big leagues. So hopefully we'll see more of Zen and maybe we'll find him in some one re ones replays or something as well. But hopefully you enjoyed this look into a different next-gen type player that we haven't seen before.